Video games makes it easy to spend hours doing the same thing over and over again in order to level up your character and unlock new skills or achievements. So why not use video game principles and apply it to the game of life? The way we level up to reach our goals is through our daily habits and the interface or tool we use to do so is Notion. In this video I'll walk you through this gamified habit tracker and show you how to build one yourself. Unlike most habit trackers this one has no formulas for you to update, you can add or remove habits in the future and it doesn't have a bunch of extra fluff making it overwhelming or confusing. If you want this habit tracker heads up display dashboard then click the first link in the description. Alright now let me walk you through this dashboard. So for those of you who are familiar with my habit tracker hub dashboard this one is now the gamified version. Here's how it works. On your left you'll find your character stats with the total experience points, the amount you've earned today, the habits you still need to complete for the day and your total daily habit progress. And if you want to create a Notion avatar to add to your profile, Notion just released Notion Faces where you can create your own custom Notion avatar. I'll leave a link to Notion Faces in the description below. Underneath you have a donut chart showing your daily progress, a line chart showing your weekly progress and also a calendar view. On the right you have the database showing your habit progress, productivity score and also total XP for each day, week, month, quarter and year. Underneath you'll see all the habits that you still need to complete with a streak score, the total experience points that you'll earn from completing this habit and the button you need to click to mark this habit as complete. And then you also have a second view which shows all of your completed daily habits. When you complete the habit you'll see the profile on the left update as well as your daily habit progress and the total experience points earned for that day. And when you complete all your daily habits you'll see the XP counter on the day turn green and on the profile it will show you've completed all your daily habits. Now with these experience points we can buy rewards. As you can see it costs 40 XP to scroll on Instagram for 15 minutes and 100 XP to watch one episode on Netflix. So if we go ahead and redeem this reward, let's say I want to watch Netflix, I click on buy, click on continue, then you'll see my total balance will decrease to 215. And let's say I watch three episodes, I can buy those as well. So let's just buy two more and you'll see that this will now go down to 15. So as you can see we got 15 XP and let's say we want to buy this Instagram reward. If we go ahead and buy this then it will push us into the negatives and we will get this red warning symbol which just shows us that we have to be careful and we need to first earn more XP before we can redeem more rewards. It's up to you how much XP your habits will earn and how much the rewards will cost but ideally the more unproductive or time consuming a reward is the higher the cost and the more productive and difficult a habit is the higher XP you will earn just like a video game. The whole point with all of this and with this dashboard is to make self-improvement more fun and to delay gratification because you have to earn it. This is what we call positive reinforcement and this gamified habit tracker uses this psychology to help you complete and stick with your new habits so you can reach your goals and level up your character much faster. And again if you want to grab this gamified habit tracker dashboard then just click the first link in the description and inside this dashboard you'll also find a full tutorial showing you how to use, set up and adapt this dashboard for yourself. Now let me explain how it works so you can use what you see as inspiration to gamify your own habit tracker. For the habits you can add how much XP it's going to earn and for the rewards you can add how much XP it's going to cost. When you click done it links the habit to the day database entry that has today's date and then it counts together the total XP of all the related habits. So the habits are linked with the days and then the days are linked with your profile which is just the sum of all of these daily XP's and then it will also show today's XP balance. Obviously ours looks different because we've made purchases but this will also show today's XP. And then because the profile is linked to the days and the days is linked to the habits through a map and filter function we can show the habits we still need to complete for the day. And then at the bottom we just have a normal map and filter function to show today's habit progress. To learn more about Notion Formulas and how to create this accountability partner step by step, check out my Notion Formulas playlist in the description below. And then for rewards, when you click buy, it creates a new database entry inside the purchases database and then that is linked to your profile which is where you do the calculations to get the balance. So basically when you complete a habit it relates it to a database entry in the days database and then these days are linked to your profile. And then when you buy a reward it creates a new database entry in the purchases database and then this one is also linked to your profile and then on the profile you can then do the calculation to get the total XP. To get this dashboard for yourself click the first link in the description and if you want to mess a notion in the next 15 minutes then click the video that's on the screen now.